The foundation of Quantix Microwave's prototyping system is the grid, which is a uniform threaded hole pattern for mounting X microwave blocks on prototype plates or in our custom H frame housings. Here you see two prototype plates which are connected using some of our X microwave wall pieces to form a larger platform for building your circuit. You can connect as many prototype plate assemblies as needed to accommodate your circuit. Each of our X microwave blocks are designed to be mounted on the grid and cascaded with other blocks using our solder to center connect system. The bottom layer of each block is a ground layer that offers excellent grounding and helps with thermal dissipation. Each active component has annular ring contacts on the bottom layer which are accessible through the grid. Notice how the signal launches align perfectly when cascaded together. For every active component, we also design a control board to provide biasing, sequencing, or control signals. The bottom layer on the control boards is also ground, and the control signals are passed to the RF boards through the spring pins that feed through the grid. Notice that there are several spring pins on some of the modules to transition all the necessary signals to the RF boards on the top side of the prototype plate. Every X microwave block is secured into place using 172 screws at the appropriate length. Let's zoom in closer to view a cross section that shows how the spring pin from the control board mounted on the bottom of the grid makes contact with the annular ring to transition the control signal to the RF board mounted on top of the grid. The spring pin fits perfectly through the whole grid hole and compresses as needed to provide a solid contact for transitioning signals. Another key part of the X microwave prototyping system are the X microwave probes. These come in 2.92 millimeter for frequencies up to 50 gigahertz and 1.85 millimeter for frequencies up to 67 gigahertz. The X microwave probes are designed to mount on the edge of any X microwave block to provide a solid signal transition at every input and output. Each probe has a built in boss that provides an excellent ground path on either side of the center conductor, which contacts the signal trace at the perfect angle when secured into place. The connectors are angled at 30 degrees to facilitate easy connection and removal of cables. Here you see the center conductor of the probe making contact with the signal trace and the boss contact and ground on either side forming a solid signal path. Interconnecting the cascaded X microwave blocks is accomplished using X microwave jumpers and X microwave anchors. The ground signal ground jumpers are made using a polymer material backer and have three copper strips which are diamond infused and gold plated. The center strip is shaped specifically to provide a 50 ohm impedance across the 5 mm air gap between the modules on the signal path. The jumper is placed between any two X microwave blocks that secured into place using an X microwave anchor on each block. The gold plated diamond particles help to make a solid coplanar waveguide connection with low signal loss at around 0.1 dB at frequencies up to 67 GHz. When all jumpers and anchors are installed, the circuit is complete. The greatest advantage of the X microwave prototyping system is that you can test any individual block, a group of blocks, or the full system quickly and easy by placing the X microwave probes on the edge of any block anywhere in the circuit. Testing can be done as you add each block so you know the exact performance at every stage of the circuit. And you can add or remove components as needed. You may find that you need more gain, so you want to change an amplifier, uh, you need to attenuate a signal, or you may have a spurious signal and need to add a filter. Uh, this can all be accomplished quickly and easily with the X microwave system. Once you have the circuit built to your satisfaction, you may want to simulate the performance expected when the circuit is moved into a custom housing. You can add X microwave wall pieces around the perimeter to form a well shielded arbitrary housing around the circuit. Then X microwave lids can be added 
to complete the housing. Absorber material can be added to the lids to dampen stray signals as well. You can be confident after testing your circuit in this enclosed configuration that you will see virtually the same performance when the circuit is moved into a custom housing. The circuit can then be moved directly into the custom housing exactly as it was configured on the prototype plate. All of our standard and custom H-frame housings have the same grid pattern built in. This is a custom housing designed specifically for the circuit uh, with built-in walls to provide good isolation. Additional through-line pieces are needed to transition the input and output signals to the appropriate connectors. And we add pin bridges at the connector launches to provide good grounding on the PCB and at the inside housing wall. This helps to minimize stray signals within the housing and works well up to 60 gigahertz. The circuit is now complete and signals can be introduced through cables connected at the inputs and outputs. For custom microwave assemblies that may be used in dynamic environments or when a more permanent configuration is desired, we offer the option to use control boards that include insulated strain relief wires that can be soldered into place instead of using spring pins. The pins mount in the same locations as the spring pins on the control boards and feed through the grid in the same way, but the wires extend through the RF boards and can be soldered in place on top of the RF boards. This cross-section shows a strain relief wire with a loop on the bottom of the control board. Red insulation protruding through the housing floor protects from shorts and the wire feeding through the RF board where it can be soldered into place at the appropriate pad on top of the RF board. Each of our custom housings has the same 0.135 inch uniform grid pattern of threaded holes as our prototype plate assemblies. So it is easy to remove any X microwave block and place an X microwave probe on, on the edge of any block within the CMA to test any section of the circuit when needed. Just one of the many benefits of using the X microwave system for modular, modular RF circuit design. The lids are added to complete the CMA. First, we showed how an RF circuit could be built on a prototype plate assembly, then transitioned into a custom microwave assembly. The same circuit can also be moved into an X Microwave 3U VPX card assembly with the addition of some through line blocks to complete the circuit to the edge of the housing for interfacing with the housing connectors. Pen bridges are also used to complete the signal connections. The X Microwave 3U card assemblies are comprised of a, a clamshell design where the RF circuits can be installed on two separate sections with the control boards on the bottom of each section to provide biasing, sequencing, and control signals. The daughter card is custom designed for the specific application and includes the customer defined interface connectors for transitioning of the signals from the back plane to the control boards. And an internal board that provides the, the transition from the daughter board to the control boards is, is included as well. The three VPX card assemblies are made to operate in the most dynamic conditions and can be built with circuits defined per the customer specifications. So we hope you will use X microwave blocks to build your next RF circuit design on a prototype plate or in a custom housing and get it right the first time. Are you ready to get on the grid?